Fifty Shades Darker trailer. Ooh. Yeah, which uh, actually broke the record for most trailer views in a single day. Uh, it uh, had 114 million views in the first 24 hours, which beats the Force Awakens trailer, which was 112. So, uh, Mark, as the resident Star Wars fan, what do you think about that? You know, Dennis, we're not taking this loss lightly. Uh, this is something we're going to have to go back and regroup and uh, make a new Rogue One trailer, maybe we'll release an Episode 8 trailer. We will get this record back. Do not worry, Star Wars fans. We are going to get it back from Fifty Shades Darker. <laughs> Ashley Moe was responsible for at least like 3 million of those views, though. But you, you and Ashley did a really cool, yeah. funny uh, trailer reaction. Oh, we don't want to take all the credit for yeah. breaking the YouTube record, but we will <laughs> share it with everybody else involved in the production. Look, I didn't hate the trailer. I really didn't. For what the trailer was, for the footage that they had to cut together, I thought it was the best possible example. It, 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 it course corrected as much as they possibly could from Fifty Shades of Grey. Perry, what are your thoughts on I'm this? I'm not particularly surprised. Didn't the first trailer also break a similar record, some sort of trailer record? So, I mean, given that this trailer does exactly what this trailer should have done, of course it's going to break records. It is a little surprising, though, that it beats The Force Awakens when we had waited so long for a new Star Wars movie, and then this just comes out and does that. But... I mean, what did what did it make like over a hundred, over five hundred and fifty million worldwide? So the first one at least. Yeah, and these YouTube records, it's it, it's a new sport. This whole you know breaking YouTube records. So there's going to be another trailer that comes out next month, and it's going to be like for like the Annabelle two trailer is going to break the Fifty Shades Darker trailer. It's going to be a lot of records before Episode nine has the title for a while. I mean, when I had first heard about the 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 first movie, it, that one breaking records, I think that one surprised me more because I, I I knew it was a popular thing. I just didn't know it was that popular but this one surprised me more because the first movie wasn't as well received as as people had thought it was going to be well, i think a lot of people watched it for that reason really? i think a lot of people watched it not because they were intrigued by the premise of the movie but they just want to get some yucks and i don't know how they felt about the actual trailer but it got the click Okay. Sinead, did you watch the Fifty Shades Darker trailer? Yeah, I did. Um, I didn't love it. I didn't think it was the best trailer ever, but I also agree. I think that the reason why it's got so many views is because like there is such a huge group of people that watch a trailer that might not even end up seeing the movie, but there's just so much buzz. It's they like, just want to see it. Yeah, and they were announcing it the day before. They released like a little snippet of like a like a, sh a frame and they were like tomorrow and it's just there's just so much hype and buzz i'm not surprised at all i think we can all agree though i mean look between the the sexual tension between the uh the masquerade balls the evil twisted dungeons in this movie gonna be a lot of bo dennis the real <laughs> stat though for the first trailer was that yeah. it was the most viewed trailer on youtube in 2014 oh the original yeah one. yeah mm. yeah okay it's, uh that's impressive. Well played, Fifty Shades. <laughs> hey guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It'll help you stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider.